Hi, welcome back all of you to the next training program on Fusion Order Management Implementation. No, Nana here and then I will be conducting this training. And then since I'm busy now, I'll not be able to immediately start now fine only on 22nd, I'll be starting it actually when the agenda is not at me now. Maybe around 20th, I will not make agenda and then I will not send it to you. Fine. Well, <clears throat> so let's now go there and then share my screen on this demo session now. Fine. Well, we'll now have a look at it. If you have any questions on any part in my demo, what happens there, please then and there you ask me. Otherwise, what happens, I will assume that you understood everything on this now. So let me go and then share my screen and then go inside now. So uh, here, uh, what happens? Uh, you are able to see my screen. If anybody can say yes, then you are able to see my screen. One of you can say yes to me. <coughs> yes, yes. No, no. Okay, very good. Yeah. So the demo session is not at any India. Okay, fine. Go ahead. And then whenever you complete your speech, what happens? You please mute your mics so that what happens? It won't be a disturbance for others actually. <coughs> So now we are having this uh, demonstration actually. Fine for that. The training will be starting on 27th of October at 9.30 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. Mainly to what happens, uh, facilitate the Gulf team, <coughs> which is sitting in Kuwait now. Fine for Kuwait, it is uh, very early actually. It is uh, 7 p.m. Uh, 9.30 p.m. is 7 p.m. And then they have to rush back to home and then uh, attend this training actually. So that's what happens uh, to, uh, to do this. And then uh, some of them uh, from uh, central time of US asked me to what happens, uh, do it in some other time because what happens, it becomes uh, noon for them and then they cannot attend the, from the office now. So we cannot, uh, what happens, uh, meet everybody's demand actually as far as timing is concerned. So what happens, uh, I have worked out a common timing. So every day session recordings will be sitting on. So what happens, you can even watch them and then uh, practice them. <clears throat> I will not be able to give an instance for this practice basically. I will not anyhow give one instance which is now very much corrupted and I don't know how far it is going to work now. And then uh, you can uh, contact Hyderabad and then try to get an instance because what happens, I will be practicing this on a customer's instance actually. The customer's instance cannot be given to you. And so I only will know, uh, do the setups and then do the practice basically. So try to hire an instance from Hyderabad. Hyderabad people are now hiring and then uh, giving the instance for three months period also. Fine, if you can hire one. Uh, it costs around 2k per month. So you can even uh, find out. So there are so many people who are uh, hiring these instances in Hyderabad now. Try to get one instance and then what happens is short practice. Anyhow, I will now give one instance uh, which uh, may not work very properly. So if it is not working, then happens, you switch over to the space and then wait. The important part is what? The learning. Fine. The learning is a very important one. So we had to learn it actually fine, very clearly. <laughs> what else is, uh, my expectation is approximately one month and then so I don't know whether uh, the real time duration actually. Fine. Let us go and then see. So. <clears throat> So this is what is fine. You already joined this one, uh, and then you can make the payments uh, to me. This is only going to cost you only INR three thousand. Nobody will now teach this subject at such a uh, cheap price for such an extensive coverage. You can now check in the market now. Eh? There are so many institutes which are covering everything, and then uh, what happens? Uh, you will not find such a coverage, and then uh, that will be very extensive and then very elaborate, and then it will not, you will not make you will not, will not make you understand each and every process in a very clear manner actually. <clears throat> so there's three thousand, and then. Uh, Please make the payments and then here what happens you can go there <clears throat> and then on the payment ID what happens you please mention your email ID because many people used to mention the names basically. If you mention your names what happens I will think that what happens one of my girlfriend has sent the money looking at me style it. So, <laughs> so don't do that now fine. So uh, you put your email ID on this now and not the name now so that what happens I can clearly distinguish who has made the payment as such you know. <clears throat> So the one, and then uh, girls uh, can replace it with what Salman Khan or their man person taught me, and then what happens? There is a lab exercise for them. And then uh, I will now uh, send me a confirmation mail once, uh, and then uh, get registered by me. Actually, fine. Only when they give a confirmation, that means what you are registered for the course, and then I will be sending you the real ones. So do mention your email ID on your payment narration. Fine, that is one thing, <clears throat> and then go there. I am now having four bank accounts, and then you can send the payment to one of the banks, basically RBL Bank, and the next is HDFC Bank. Fine, no down. I will now uh, briefly pass on this place so that what happens, you can note it down. Or otherwise, while you are running the record, what happens, you just <coughs> pass it, and then uh, you take the notes of uh, the note of all the bank details. Now, this is the RBL Bank as well as this is the HDFC Bank, and then I have uh, two more banks now. Fine, go there, ICC Bank, and then Kota Bank. So to one of the banks, you can send the payment and then uh, do remember to mention your <coughs> what's called your your mail ID on the narration basically. So then what happens? I can easily distinguish who has made the payment. Otherwise, I'll be confused now. <coughs> if the name is not there in the narration, I will now consider this as a donation to me. And please mention the email ID on your name. And then you also get back a confirmation from me that what happens if you, you I have received the payment as such. <coughs> So I will now give you a best wishes for this five, uh, prosperous career in Fusion Apps. No fine, go there. What else? <coughs> So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small demonstration of the Fusion Apps, basically. <clears throat> so a case study is now made. And then at any point of time, whenever you're having any doubt, what happens, please open up your mic and speak now. So this is for the internal transfer of material. 
okay this is for the internal transfer of material and then i have a manufacturing plant at atlanta which is 002 and then the shipping org is chicago so let us say a customer from uh, this area is now asking chicago is now asking for a material now and then we are going to ship it to him now basically fine ship it <clears throat> so uh, what happens when you have a manufacturing unit what happens we will now keep a stock on this place and then whenever any unit or any place in the throughout the country needs material what happens it will be shipped from this place to this this place and then from there what happens they will not ship it to customer actually so this is the way what happens is going to open so this is called an internal material transfer now fine go there <clears throat> so we will now create a sales order for a vision item now fine go there we will not de demonstrate on the vision item and this item which i'm going to use it for this now fine go there let me go there and then start my activity on this <clears throat> So go there. I will now go to this place, and then I will now click on the home. When I click on the home icon, what happens? All the icons are going to come up now. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? I will now click on the order management icon. Fine, click on the order management icon, and then I am going to create a sales order. Actually. So go there. Click on the create order. So I am going to click on the create order. <clears throat> so we are now going to create an order, and then uh, this uh, vision uh, is now enabled for multiple business units. Now fine, go there. We will now choose our business unit. Okay. Fine, go down. I will now choose the US one business unit. Fine. The first activity is to choose a business unit. In real cases, what happens? You will not be having much of a business unit. You will be operating only on one business unit. In which case, what happens? It will becoming automatically only. So the first activity is to choose a business unit, and then I will now go for a ready-made customer. Fine. Com. I will now put it. It's computer services and rental is the one. Fine. Go there. I will now select it. Now. <clears throat> I'm selecting this computer services and rental. It's not fine. Go there. Was. I select it. Now I will now populate the item over here. Now fine. Go there. It's a CM. <clears throat> fine. It's a four seventy-five. One 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 seven is the one. Give it up. This is for internal material transfer. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? The GOP is licensed. GOP stands for Global Order Promising. So the system comes with the two licenses. One is what without GOP, and then with GOP as far as order management is concerned. And then depending upon what exactly you have got a license, what happens? It will not show. Now, fine, go there. So now it is with the GOP. It says that what happens is out of stock. We don't have any stock in Chicago at all. From where we are going to ship it now. So it's not saying, and then I will now go for a little bit, uh, two quantities. Now, if I go there, I'll now go for two quantities and then give it up. And then click on add line. So by clicking on the adding the line, what happens? It comes over here in the lines. Detail. From the, in the space, what happens? It gets added up. Now, if I go there, what So the business practice is as follows. Core is manufactured in Atlanta and then sent to the distribution and sales area throughout the country now. In this case, we have, we have a shipping org of 003, which is Chicago, and wants the car to be transferred from Atlanta. What else? Let us begin by creating the sales order. The global order closing is set, uh, and it will now first check for the stock in this space. If the stock is available, what happens? It will not ship from 003. And since the stock is not available, it is now going to initiate a transfer from this one. And since there is no stock, it will show no stock. Now, fine, we have seen there no stock on the line. And then add the lines to the sales order, and then what happens? I change the request to date order. That is the 9th of October. I, go there, I, will now go there. I will now go to the next tab region in this place. What happens? I go to the warehouse now. I will not change the request date. Fine, go there to 9th of October. It is not showing a 6th of October. I will not change it. Fine, go there. Make a change to 9th of October. So the requested date is 9th of October. I made a change now. Fine, go there. And then uh, what happens? It will now give us save. Now. Fine, at this date. The moment you save it, what happens? You can now see the sales order number coming up. So once when the sales order number comes up, what happens? You go, then uh, what happens? You uh, uh, The sales order number comes up. We will now open up a notepad now. <clears throat> A notepad is getting opened up and then what happens? You note down the number. Fine. My number is what? 90380. So one. Note down the number. 90380. So this is open. Now we will ask for the customer. We will not show, his, show the customer all this information now. You will not say everything is okay now. Fine. Well, order stock and then say, okay, fine. I will not buy it. So we are going to initiate a booking. In sales order, in EBIS, what happens? Sir? We have a concept called book order. Here, the book order is not there. Fine. Go there. We have to submit it now. The submit button of the fusion is equivalent to the book order of EBIS basically. And then what happens? You note on the and now go and submit it. Submitting is nothing but book order. Now. Fine, go there. And if you click on the hyperlink on this now, on this forty-three point seven zero, it will now show you the breakup of this price actually. So if the total price is forty dollars, there is no discount at all. And then the one, and then here what happens? Now showing the taxes also. Fine. The EBIS tax of US actually. So with which what happens? The customer has to pay forty-three point seven zero. Fine. Now coming up on the top now. So let me click on submit by which what happens? Sir? The order will be submitted for approval. Fine. Click on submit now. The order will be submitted for approval. It will be saying pending approval now. So as of now, I am not. Uh, what happens? We go give OK, accept it, accept this message. It will be showing a message as well, pending approval, approval pending. And then uh, there is no approval set as such now. Fine, it will be set in the real pending actually. Fine, click on refresh now. So once you refresh it, it will now come up and then it will now go into the processing stage. Now you click on the actions and then here what happens? You go there and then go to the switch, switch fulfillment view. Actions switch fulfillment view. I am going over there. We are now going to the fulfillment area. In this place, what happens? I go to the fulfillment lines and then there will be a DOO number. Fine, click on this now. DOO number. This is a distributed order orchestration number. If you click on it, what happens? You go there. The orchestration plan will be showing you this like this. The orchestration plan will come like this. It is now scheduling, reserving, shipping, and invoicing. It is a standard orchestration plan by which what happens is now coming. 
So the standard orchestration plan is coming now. So now what happens is since it is going to be a transfer order for this item, I go there. So go to the actions fulfillment flow. On the fulfillment tab region, what happens? You cannot see the orchestration plan. This triggers the fulfillment flow. The DOO is nothing but a distributed order orchestration. It is responsible for fulfilling the customer's needs by many ways. So the fulfillment sir, plan. Uh, uh, sorry to disturb. One doubt. So on which organization you are creating the sales order? Yeah. Uh, we are not mentioned at all. Fine. In eBiz, we mentioned the order. Fine. We mentioned the warehouse actually. Here, yes. there is no need for us to mention the warehouse at all. Who is this? Vijay, Vijay sir. Vijay, okay, fine. God. So here, we need not have to mention the warehouse at all. That will be taken care of by the global order promising. Right? That is a beautiful function functionality. So that functionality has been enriched when compared to eBiz. Now, fine. Here, no need to mention any warehouse at all. <clears throat> Fine. The business scenario is like this now. Fine. The business scenario is like this. You are going to manufacture in Atlanta at 002 and then you are going to ship from this zone. And then you will not transfer the material from this place to this place. And then this setup is done by the what happens? The global order promising setup actually. Fine. That will be set as it's not fine. So it is all item specific setup actually. Which item has to go which way? If it is a if it is we have a ready made uh, stock, what happens? It will be shipping from the Chicago or if you don't have a stock, it will not manufacture at this place and then what happens? We will not bring it over here. You know, this is how it is going to happen. So they will be learning in the real training actually. Find how the setups are made now. Fine, that's why it's all known. Now, since we have to bring it, this is called a back-to-back -back order. This is called a back-to-back -back order. Now you can see, go on then reference the sales order. What happens? It will now insert one more line in this area. Now. Fine, you can see on ninth of this thing, it has to be shipped actually. So it is a scheduling, reservation, shipping, and then this thing. If I refresh it, based upon the GOP setups, if you refresh it, what happens? You can now see one more uh, activity on the orchestration plan is the interest news. That is called request orchestration of supply. Because since we don't have any stock, what happens? It is no request orchestration of supply. A supply request has been initiated. It is now completed also. The state is saying it's completed. And then there is a pass which has to wait for it. They have uh, manually introduced a pass actually uh, in the workflow actually. And then uh, there is no pass required on this now. Fine, go there. We have sufficient time actually. <clears throat> So what happens? The pass is completed. Now it is now wait to it is now on the back to back status of the goods. What happens? It is now go to the awaiting shipping now. So this is what else? So this is all done by the GOP actually. So the GOP will not decide the flow. The flow will be decided by them. In this case, we are shipping from this, and then we are going to be transferring from that. Let us now begin the great series. Order fine. Go there is not there. Fine. Go there is not done. <clears throat> this figures a fulfillment flow. Fine. Go there. The fulfillment flow is a distributed order orchestration. It is equivalent to a workflow of EBS basically. In the EBIS, what happens? We set up the order, so order transaction type and then the line transaction type. Here, they are not required. They are equivalent to that. The line, line transaction type and order transaction type. And then remember, that has to be mentioned on the sales order actually. On the sales order, we have to mention the line transaction type and then order transaction type in EBIS. Now, here it is not required. The system will automatically pick up which DOO has to be chosen. So, in EBIS, we have a ship only uh, transaction type. We have a bill only transaction type, return for credit and reserve, etc. etc. Everything is there. Here also we have almost all the things which are being configured as a DOO actually. So the transaction types of EBIS are all configured as a DOO, and then they are heavily dependent upon item attributes only. There it's different now. Right? Only for certain things, what happens? It will be item attribute, but not for this. For example, if you want to do a back to back, what happens? You have to have what happens, uh, you have to have assembled order as yes, as well as built-in group as yes in EBIS. If these two things are enabled, what happens? It's a back to back item. Here it is not so. We have an attribute called back to back, is itself is there fine. Once when you enable that attribute, it becomes a back to back. So it's a, uh, almost every business process is basically closely tied with the item attributes actually. Fine, nicely done. No other place we have to go from a functional perspective. Fine, no need to create a comparison. What happens? Your transaction types in the order level and high level. Fine. So you just set it and then what happens? The generic process will now automatically divert it. Now, the generic process already seen, it has inserted this request orchestration. Previously, it was a schedule and pass, and then ship and then invoice. Now, it is a schedule request supply, then pass. Now, it is now awaiting shipping as such on 9th of this month, actually. Fine. Now, coming. <coughs> now, we go there, it is now come. Now, what I had to do, what happens? I go there. The Gantt chart will indicate the schedule full flow, full flow like this now. I go there and see this now. It was initially like this schedule reserve and ship and, and the GPO is licensed, and then what happens will be having. And then there are two attributes on the item back to back enable is this, and then what happens? I make or buy is buy now. <clears throat> These two attributes will now make it as what? It's a back to back supply actually. Back -to -back supply. And then what happens for the both back to back buy as well as back to back transfer, the attributes are same actually. These attributes are same basically. Fine. I will now go and then show you the attributes basically. Fine. Go there. I will now open up one more tab region now. Go there. I will now duplicate now. I'll now make one more tab region now. <clears throat> Duplicate and then click on refresh it. It will be coming. So let me go to the product management over here. Fine. Click on the product management. 
I go to the product information management on this now. In the product management, I go to the product information management on this now. On the right hand side, I click on it. We'll go there. So let's go to the manage items and then have a look. I click on it. Click on the task carousel and then go to the manage items on this now. Manage item task. I'm going over there. And then I will now have a look at it. So click on it and then manage items task. The item is CM. <clears throat> Fine. Four seven five one 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 seven and then give a tab now and go there. Click on search now. I'm going to search for the item. Let me go and have a look. At it. So this is in the mass truck. Zero 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 is a mass truck. Zero zero two is Atlanta, and then zero 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 three is Chicago. And I will now click on the mass truck item in the mass truck. Click on it now, and then I go directly to the specifications now. Go down, and then click on the specifications now. Click on specifications, <clears throat> and then here what happens? You go to the sales and order management tab. Region. The sales and order management tab. Region, we have one. Uh, what happens? The same back to back enabled is this. So this is not enabled the back to back. Right? So there are three ways of back to backing. One is what? One you buy and ship, and then you make and ship, and then what happens? You uh, uh, tra transfer and ship. Now we are testing on the transfer ship. And this is one attribute. And then if you go to the planning area, if you click on the planning area, what happens? You go there and you see this. <clears throat> the planning area is make or buy is buy. This attribute is common for both buy as well as transfer. Actually, this is a must. Right? For this, what happens? This, uh, this attribute is required. And then you go down, and then here what happens? We go. We will know how what happens. And uh, uh, the other aspects are that it's not going to be used in this training actually. We'll be using only in the planning center actually. So if you go to the planning area, and if you go to the purchasing, what happens there? We have to give a this price. And then we may have to, what happens is specify a default buyer also. You specify the default buyer here or otherwise on the configure procurement business function. And then, then what happens? It will be fully enabled. But uh, what happens? Uh, buyer is not required. And then uh, this price, even though we are performing only a transfer, what happens? Uh, it's a must actually find go there. Apart from that, what happens? Uh, there is one more place where we are now mentioned the buyer also. The purchase officer is a must for both back to back uh, buy and then back to back transfer actually. Fine, purchase officer is a must actually. <clears throat> so there has been specific. We'll be learning about it in the real training actually. Fine, go there. Now, <clears throat> there are three things on the GOP the global order promising. Fine, go there. Global order promising. Yet, what happens? We have to set up the manage ADP rules, and then we have to design the sourcing rules as well as define the assignments. Fine, right. these three are mandatory. These three things will now decide whether you are going to go for a back to back buy or a back to back make or a back to back transfer or a drop ship or whatever it is. Fine, right. every way of flow is decided by these two things. These three things will be fully explained in the real training, actually. So, we are now going with the ready made setups, and then we are going ahead on this. Now, fine. So, this is now this. Three setups for this particular item has now a recommended a transfer of material now, and it is not a buy item. Actually. So the orchestration plan indicated by the Gan chart. The Gan chart is nothing but what it is a time uh, basically uh, thing. Fine, it will now schedule the different activities. So first activity when it has to be completed, second activity when it is completed is known as a Gan chart. G A N T T Gan chart. So this is now uh, basically a scheduling tool actually, an excellent tool. It will now give you when, when, which is now getting completed at what date. Go there is not done. The fulfillment flow is now coming up again. Now. It shows you like this now. The first three tick marks are coming that these three activities are not completed. Fine. Now, what happens is we have to release the planning recommendation. The planning engine's recommendation, we have to release it now. Fine. Go there. I will not have I will not right click on it. Fine. Go there. I will not go to this item. I'm not going to use it now. I will not click on the left hand side top navigator now. In the left hand side top navigator, I'm going to click on it. And then I go down. <clears throat> and then here, click on the more now. Fine. I have to go to the tools now. Click on the more. In the more, you will be having one tools area coming up now. Fine. Go there. You click on the more now. Once when you click on the more, what happens? The tools is coming. The tools, what happens? We have a scheduled process. The scheduled process is nothing but a concurrent program now. Fine. This is known as a ESS, Enterprise Scheduler Service. Basically, ESS is the one. So here, what happens? I will now schedule a new process, which is nothing but a concurrent program. I go there. I will now say release planning recommendation. Release percentage. Plan percentage. Recommend percentage. Fine. Go there. And then give a tab now. So release planning recommendation. Then give a tab. And then click on search now. It will now show you the plan now. Fine. Go there. So click on it. So the planning recommendation will be released to the system actually. Thank you. The fulfillment system. Thank you. Click on it. So the concurrent name release planning recommendation. Click on OK. And a series of concurrent is going to run now. It doesn't have any parameters on this now. Fine. Click on submit and then it will be going ahead now. Click on submit. It will go ahead. Fine. So the concurrent is running. Click on OK now. <clears throat> and then click on refresh it now. Fine. Once when you refresh it, you can now see the refreshment now coming up now. Fine. Release planning recommendation is there. So this will now run a series of concurrents now. Fine. Once when those concurrents complete, what happens? You will be having one orchestration plan, which will be what happens? Orchestrating it to the supply chain orchestration actually. Fine. That will be running now. Fine. This is called process supply chain orchestration interface. So it will now trigger a SCO. Actually. SCO is a subset of DOO. DOO is a distributed orchestration, which what happens? The SCO is a subset of it now. Fine. Now the process orchestration interface is now completed, succeeded now. Fine. You go there and see. It triggers a series of jobs actually. Fine. The supply chain orchestration. 
So the purpose of supply chain orchestration is to make the material available on the shipping sub inventory. Whereas the purpose of DVO is what? It will now fulfill the customer's needs right from what happens at, uh, beginning to end actually. DVO will now do it now. Now DVO has given the job to SCO. First of all, it has to transfer the material from Atlanta to Chicago. So the transfer activity, it has no given. So it may give a transfer activity or a buy activity or a make activity or a drop ship activity to SCO. SCO will now complete this. So SEO is now coming, fine, go there. The full front lines is there, go there. What else? We go there. So these are the four activities which are done by SEO actually. SEO will now do the back end buy and ship and then transfer and ship, make and ship and then ship and ship. For all the four activities, what happens? It will now ensure that the material is available from the shipping organization to the customer actually. From there, what happens? They're going to do it. Now we are working on a transfer ship now. We will now go on and have a look at it. Go there. You, you go to the manager orders. And now what happens? You go there. And then by the side of the orchestration plan, we have a fulfillment line. If you click on it, fine. This is what you get it now. The main screen, you'll not get like this now. I will not click on done and then come to, come to the main screen now. So we are in the main sales order screen. And from the actions, what happens if you go to the switch to fulfillment view? We are going to the switch to fulfillment view. If you go to the actions, switch to fulfillment view, what happens? It will not come out to the next page now. Here, in this place, in the fulfillment lines, you drag, you'll now find the DOO number now. Fine, click on the DOO number, the distributed order, order orchestration number. It will be coming up over here now. And this, they are able to see the orchestration plan and then it's awaiting shipping to the customer because what happens? Metal is it to reach this place. If you go to the fulfillment lines on the next tab, you can go there. It will show you plenty of things now. And the general supply lines, shipping, billing, etc. And I am now keeping my cursor on the supply details and then go down. What happens? You cannot see a supply order is now created because we are on the planning recommendation. So the moment you run the release planning recommendation, what happens? The supply order will be ready. So you will now be doing, and then there's no awaiting a supply. So let me click on the supply order number. Fine, go there. Click on the supply order number. If you click on it, what happens? The SCO process comes and then shows over here. This is the SCO process, the supply chain orchestration process, the orchestration number. That was a DO number, this is the SCO number. And now you see, there's no saying in, it is in the logistics actually. If you click on it, what happens? This is the source of the supply, Atlanta, and then we have to bring it to Chicago. Fine, this is the one. Fine, it is in logistics actually. This SEO number is now showing you. Again, go to the orchestration plan and then have a look at it. Now, click on the orchestration plan. Here, what happens? There are five activities of general one is the transfer order, one is the reservation, one is the intro shipment, one is the put away, and then finally the fulfillment completion. And remember, the first two four activities are for SEO actually. SEO will not perform the first four activities. The final activity will be performed with the DO actually. So transfer order is now created actually. Fine, it's not saying it's not come. And then the reservations also made. Fine, go there. It's not done. Fine, go there. And then there are three recommendations of SEO. Either the buy recommendation, the buy recommendation, you won't find anything at all. And then if you go to the make recommendation, also there will be anything. And because what happens? The GOP has been set only for a transfer for this item. Now fine, that will be you'll learn, be learning in the real training. And now go to the transfer, and then you can see the transfer order. So let me note down the transfer order number. It's eleven eighty forty. Fine, go there. Let me note down the transfer order number. 11, 80, and then 40. The one and go there. So the transfer order number is noted now. Fine. So the purpose of SCO is to see to it that what happens that Chicago is having the material actually. And Chicago must be having the material available there. That is what it is. So whatever maybe the one, fine. Ultimately, what happens? It may be any one of the four, but all the four, SCO will ensure that the material is available in the shipping supply contract. So click on the hyperlink of the supply order number. What happens? It will not show this now. It will not show the supply status in logistics now. Fine. The source is Atlanta, destination is Chicago. We have seen this. Find the what the same is <clears throat> now. Go to the line details and then see the transfer order number is created. Note down the transfer order number. We already note down the transfer order number. Transfer order number. Once uh, open up uh, the more the, uh, one more tab region and then go to the inventory management. So do not do not uh, what happens to close this now. Fine. Let us now open up one more tab. Now. Go there, now go there. So click on right click on then open duplicate now. Fine. Click on duplicate. Right click on duplicate and then click on refresh. And now open up one more tab. Region. <clears throat> fine. Go there. So one more tab region. Is there? Fine. The orders. So we have come to this place now. Fine. Go there. Orders. So we are this tab and then I go to the inventory management at the bottom now. Fine. Go there. Inventory management. <laughs> so in the inventory management, what happens? We are going to see the transfer order actually. How the transfer order is now progressing actually. It has now created a transfer order 118038 is the one. Fine. You are going to see this. Now. So the line will indicate that the awaiting fulfillment and the request delivery is there. Is there, is there. Fine. Go there. Orders. So if you go and then see this now, fine. Go there. So I will now go and then see this now. So open up in the inventory management tool that manage transfer orders. So I will now go to the manage transfer orders in this now and go there, go to the top. And then what happens? You click on this now. <clears throat> on the, the task carousel, if you click on it, fine, click on the task carousel. And then here, what happens? You'll now go to manage transfer orders. So you go there. I am now in the shipments now. Let me go to the inventory area. Fine. In the show task of inventory, I'm now going over there. And then click on the manage transfer orders area. And click on the manage transfer order. So here I will now populate my transfer order and then make a query. My, my transfer order number is what? 11, 80, 40. And go there. It is 11 and then 80 and then 40. And then give it a tab now. So click on search now. <clears throat> so once when you search it, what happens? It will be ready. So what about the organization? We don't need to select the organization Atlanta. No need to select anything at all. The system has already selected this Atlanta. The source organization is this thing. 
and then the destination is 003 Chicago. It is all set in the GOP in, the, in your sourcing rule. Fine. So no need to select anything at all. Fine. Here everything is now done by these three rules actually. Fine. These three rules. <clears throat> These three rules, the manage ADP rules, manage sourcing rules, and then manage assignment set for a particular item, it has been done. There. That will be taught in a real training about how to set up now, fine. For each and every item, it is set up now. So that setup has now brought you, and then it is now showing you that it is now awaiting a fulfillment, actually. Here, SCO's fulfillment is what? Making the inventory available on the shipping sub inventory of Chicago. Actually. That is what it is. Whereas DOS is what? You ship it to the customer, and then you bill him also. Everything you have to complete in one go. So that is the DO. DO will now go from end to end actually, whereas SCO is a small part, is a sub part of a DO. Right? So now we are in the transfer order. So SCO has now created a transfer order. The transfer order says is awaiting fulfillment, and then it has to be shipped from this order, and then it has to go to this. And then you select this line, and then what happens? You go there, click on the view shipments and receipts. Click on the view shipments and receipts, fine, go there, you orders. Go inside. What happens? It says what? It is awaiting fulfillment, and then the request command is to nothing is shipped, nothing is received by Chicago, and then nothing is delivered into Chicago. And then no shipment is created as a. So we are seeing it now, fine, any routes on this now, fine, we are not completed. Fine. That, this, the transfer order is now seen over here. Find the transfer order is created now. Find go to the lines details. Find go there. The lines details of the SCO. Find if you go to the SCO area, the SCO area. Here, what happens? If you now say, if you go to the orchestration plan, <clears throat> the transfer order is now complete now. Find go there. If you go to the transfer order, here, what happens? It now shows the transfer order is created actually. The status is now created actually. Okay, okay. So it is 11 80 40, and then it is now created actually. Find the reward is saying, find go there. No transfer order is created actually. Open up one more tab region for the inventory management, and then what happens? You go to the manage transfer task. And then here, what happens? You know, see the transfer order number, you query it, and then it's showing it. And then if you click on the view shipments, what happens? If you go and then see this, no fine, you can now see the shipments over here. It is awaiting fulfillment. In this place, what happens? If you go to this place, manage transfer orders. Now, what happens? It's not showing you awaiting fulfillment. Fine, nothing else is being updated. No shipment is also created for this. Now, we have to create a pick wave. So, in the shipping area, what happens? We have to release the line. Whether it is going to be a sales order or a transfer order, and then what happens? We have to confirm the uh, pick slips, pick slips now. Fine. So release the sales order. Fine. And then at first confirm the pick slips, and then perform a ship confirm. These are three activities you have to do. And as far as the transfer order is concerned, what happens? We have to create a pick wave. So we have to go and get a pick wave. We'll go there. So we will now go there. We will now open up one more tab region now. Fine. Right click and then click on duplicate now. We will now open up one more tab region. And then again go to the inventory now. Fine. In this place, we go there. Go to the inventory management. Fine. Click on the inventory management. And then here we go there. And then in this place, what I'm going to do is we go there. And then click on the task carousel. <clears throat> and then here there are four activities which are not defined. Go there. If you go and see this, there are four things on the area in the task. One of the inventory, one of the accounts, one of the shipments, one of the picks, the five leads are there. Now what happens? I will go to the picks area. Show task of picks. There are five activities on the inventory. I will now choose the picks. Go there. The pick. Go there. Is the pick one now? Fine. <clears throat> so it's a big one. Fine, go there. You will now create a pick wave. No, but pick wave is required only for a transfer order and not for a sales order. Actually, fine, go there. Click on the trade wave. You can also do in that way, but this is not the normal way of doing it. Fine, there are multiple ways of uh, uh, performing an action now. So for the transfer order, we'll now go to the pick task and then click on create pick wave. So click on create, and then here what happens? We have a release rule now. Fine, what exactly is the release rule will be taught in a real training? Actually, we'll now go down. And then we will now choose the what happens 002 auto confirm pick on the 002 all. Fine. For every all, what happens? We'll be having a release roll over here now. Fine. I will now choose this now. Fine. 002 auto pick confirm and then go there. It now shows you. Now, the type of order is what? Is the transfer order. Fine. Go the transfer order. Order type is transfer order. And then we have to give the transfer order number now. Fine. We have already noted down the transfer order number is 118040. Now, fine. Go there. We will now put the order number as what? 118040. The one give a tab now. Fine. Automatically, the customer is coming. The Calvin Roth is nothing but a purchase officer actually. Fine. So for both transfer and ship as well as buy and ship, what happens? The customer name is Calvin Roth and not the what's called the real customer actually. Because we are going to make what happens? We are going to transfer it from uh, either Atlanta to Chicago or otherwise you're going to buy from a supplier and then what happens? We'll now make the inventory available. So for both the business processes, the customer is what? The purchase officer. One purchase officer has to be kept on this place in one of the one of the setups actually that will be taught in aerial training now. Fine, go that to us. And then we'll now release now. Fine. With this much of information, we are going to make a release. Now. Your pick wave will be released now. Fine, go there. Click on release now. Fine, go there. Click on release now. <clears throat> so once when you release now, what happens? It will now say your pick wave is released 18, 98, 83. Fine, go there. It is 18, 98, 18, 98. Uh, what is it? 90, 18, 98, 83. Fine, 18, 98, 83. Fine, this is the pick wave now. Fine, is now created. And you can now see the number of pick slips created is one, and then the number of picks is one now. Fine, click on okay now. <clears throat> so here. 
after having completed this now fine we are now completed what the pick wave is now created now fine the pick wave is created the pick wave will also do the, what happens the confirmation of the picks also pick confirm is automatic actually as far as the auto since we are using an auto one now fine auto pick confirm one so it will now create a pick wave as well as it is also confirmed so there is no need for us to explicitly go to confirm pick wave confirm pick wave is not required the system itself will now pick this so picking activity is confirmed creating as well as confirming it fine this will now ensure that the material is available on the staging area fine it brings the item to the staging area fine because these two things are automatic actually fine because you go there and now you go to the shipments area and go to the place and then you go to the shipments so we have completed the pickups and then what happens you go to the shipments actually and click on the shipments so we have seen inventory in the inventory what happens we have now seen the managed transfer orders now in the shipments we have created what a pick wave and then it is also confirmed also now we go to what the what's called the shipments now we go to the shipments now. So in the shipments, what happens? You go there. <coughs> fine, go there. The purchase office will know. The pick wave is now completed. Now go there. It shows you what the shipments results will now show as open. Now. <coughs> uh, note down the pick wave number. The pick wave will now create a pick release and then pick up from the stage. In the transfer order page, if you go there, the shipment number would have come now. Fine, go there. If you go to this place, go to the what's called the transfer order number. Now. Fine, go there. It is the transfer order number. If you click on done, then come out of it. Order the shipment number will be on. Click on done now. Click on done, and then again click on the view shipment lines. So you will now see a shipment number getting coming. Right. It's a 25197 is the shipment number. Fine, go there. It's a 25197. Fine, go there. So we can query on the shipment number. Fine, go there. We can query on the shipment number for ship confirming it now. So the pick wave creation, the pick confirmation is completed now. The next activity is ship confirmation. Now, what happens is no saying request a quantity is true. Nothing is shipped, nothing is received, nothing is delivered. The shipment number is there. So if you go to this area on the unit area, what happens? You go there, we already select shipments. Uh, what happens? You go to the manage shipments area. So click on the manage shipments area. So in the manage shipments, if you know the shipment number, you can query on this one. If you know the shipment number, you can query. Or if you don't know the shipment number, what happens? You can even add a field for the pick wave actually. I click on this add field and then here go down. And then here go down, go down. And then add a field for pick wave now. Fine. For the search criteria, what happens? You can add the pick wave now. Go down. <coughs> click on add field. And then go down. Mm. Not required. I don't want the customer actually. And go there. Put add fields. I mean, this has to work now. Not working actually. Now here, what happens? We can very well add the pick wave field actually. Why it's not working? Try to refresh the page. Oh, refresh the page. Come on. There is no refresh. Account. You want me to refresh from this place? I'm refresh now. <clears throat> go there. Click on add field now and go there. Ah, nonsense. I do not work here. See, it's not moving down basically. <clears throat> oh, here there will be a pick wave and then you can add up and then you can make a query now. So, since uh, we have noted on the shipment number, what happens? You can go there and do it now and go there. So, 25197 is the one. 25197 is the one time you would have. And then, if you go, then what happens? You go there and then query of the shipment number. Sir, so how do you note that uh, shipment number, sir? I the shipment the number has come from uh, what happens? Your transfer order number. If you go there, if you query on this place, fine. If you go to the uh, manage transfer orders. In the manage transfer orders, what happens? If you go and then re query the line now. The transfer order numbers put up on 11840. If you go there and then click again on view shipment lines, what happens? It shows you the shipment number again. Upon okay. create pick wave as well as confirm pick wave, what happens? The system creates a shipment number also. It is all uh, done in the release rule actually. How to create a release rule will be taught in the training actually. So on this one, 25197 is the one. So here, what happens? I go there and then I'm querying on this. So it shows this now. Fine. So now what we have to do is we have to perform only a ship confirmation. Because what happens in the actions, if you go and then see, uh, the pick release is already completed. Pick release is equivalent to a pick wave. The pick wave is now created and then confirmed. And so what happens, there is no need to create it all. Now we have to confirm it. So here, what on, we'll now say. Now the shipping in charge will not decide. Fine. Whether he's, I'm now having sufficient packing material or not. Compressed air, water, manpower, the forklift, etc., etc. So he will now see all the facilities available in the shipping area and then decide how much to ship now. So if there are say 10 quantities are requested and then he has got capacities to only ship 7, he will now make the ship to quantity as 7. Now I am now making it as 2. And then I am going to perform a ship confirmation. So I am going to perform a ship confirmation. Click on ship confirmation by which what happens? It now leaves Atlanta and then moves towards Chicago. I click on ship confirmation. So what happens? The ship confirmation message has come now. I go there. Click on it. Okay. I know that. <clears throat> now let us go to the supply chain orchestration area and then see how much has been completed. I go to the orchestration plan now. If you click on the orchestration plan, and the interop shipment has now been created. Actually, if I go there, we now give a refresh. Now, if you give a refresh, 
to go on and refresh it for us. You know, see, the third activity will also be getting updated. Now it will take some time now, basically. <clears throat> and then if you go to the transfer order now, and click on done and then come at the shipped quantity will be coming as true now. Click on done now. <coughs> come out of it. Come to the main area and go the select and then click on the view shipments and lines. Now what happens? You can now see it is not shipped. But it is not yet received by Chicago as well as it is not yet delivered. It is expected on 9th because what happens? Uh, we have to ship it on 9th actually. Fine. So it is now, uh, it is not today 6th and then what happens? The expected result date is coming as 9th now because we are given the request date of this now. Because from that place, it is going to be shipped on the same date as the customer actually. Fine. This is what else. So there is no transit time involved from our Chicago to the customer's facility. So it is not showing us that to ship now. Fine. Let us go to the uh, what happens, uh, Chicago org and then receive it in email. So this what is so you know so this also will be getting updated on it will not take some extra time basically if I click on refresh now point we got your three tick marks. Now you see the third tick mark has also the interop shipment is not completed now. So this is not completed. You know, see the status is completed or not fine. It says on what day does we complete fine whether everything is not showing us six or nine over oh, there. not showing anything. Fine. If you go to the transfer order, <coughs> you go to the transfer order, what happens? It's now created. So here what happens if you go on the main line? It is an in logistics fine go there. Click on refresh now. Fine go there. It's still in logistics only. So the moment you receive it in Chicago, what happens? It will not say the supply is available here now on Chicago. That is what you're going to say. This is the SCO number, the transfer order number. So there are different different things are there. You have to remember it. One is a DOO, distributed order orchestration, one is a supply chain orchestration, one is a transfer order number. Fine. So those three different uh, scenarios you have to remember now basically. So my transfer order is saying what happens not shipped and then it is not at the same. So let us go there and then here what happens? We go there. The management shipment is not complete. Fine, you are cancelled. <clears throat> no completed. So we go there. I will now go to the what happens the receive area. So we are now seeing the inventory area, we are seeing the shipment area, we are seeing the picks area. Now we go and then go to the receipts area. Fine click on the receipts area. And then here we are going to receive the expected shipments. Fine click on the receive expected shipments. Let us now receive it now. So if you go there and see this now, fine, go there. <clears throat> now showing us what open. So the shipments are receipts. <clears throat> On this place now query on the shipment number fine the ship count is one and then it will not flash a message that no ship confirmed actually fine we are not completed that activity the transfer order will not show it's shipped actually the transfer order has to show that what happens is not shipped actually the transfer order has to show the seo status has shipped actually in the gone chart will not put the put away as pending now so uh, the SEO status is not shipped actually. Fine, it's already shipped. You will not see whether the SEO status is coming as shipped or not. Fine, I will now go to the SEO area. This is the SEO area now. Fine, with So it has to show me the status as what. If you refresh it, it has to show as what shipped actually. Ah, it's not coming. Some other place is coming or not. Fine, it's only saying the transfer order is created actually. If you refresh it, it's not coming as such. Now. Sometimes it takes a long time. What about you go to the previous line and then come back now? Fine, go to the previous line. There's an in-commerce line. And then here, come back to this line. Sometimes what happens? It will show you. Fine. This is still in logistics only. You want to say. The orchestration plan says this. Now, fine, go there. But I have seen this area as a ship actually. Fine, not coming up on here. Fine. Maybe it takes some time. Here, updations are taking some extra time. Actually. They are now trying to reduce all these uh, transit times or other. The what happens? Uh, this uh, 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 guest station time. Basically, they are going to reduce it actually. Go there. Fine. Now, let us go to go to this place. Now, the receive expected. I have not changed the organization to zero zero three. Can't change the. I am not going to change it to zero zero three. So let me change it to 003 and go there. It's 003 now, fine, go there, give a tap and then click on OK now. Fine. <clears throat> so now we are working on 003. Now nothing is coming again. You click on the home icon and then come back. Now, fine, this is, a, this is a small bug actually. You click on the home icon and then you come to the inventory management again. Fine, click on the inventory management and then here, what happens? You go down <clears throat> and then click on it now, fine, go there, click on it. And then here, you go to the receive expected shipments. It will now show you the org as 003 now. Fine. So in the transfer order area, what happens? You go and then put your transfer order number now, fine, go there. You're going to put the transfer order number. There. Open up the transfer number. Fine, it is what it is 1180 40 is the one fine. Go there, it is 1180 and then give a tab. It will not show you all the pending transfer. Also, I'm sorry, yes, no, yes, actually. It's 1180 and then uh, give a tab. It will not show you the transfer order numbers. Japanese, not the, the only one pending. We are going to query on the transfer order number. So, the transfer order number, click on search now. It will not go on the search. You'll be finding fine select and then it will not receive and delay. Click on receive. I'm not going to make a receive. So I will not perform a receive and deliver in one go fine, because of the direct routing. I will not say click on the show receipt quantity. How much is expected from this place? Fine, who is expected? If you click on the show receipt quantity, it will not show it. And then put the populate the sub over here. Fine. We have to populate the asset sub over here now, fine, because it's an asset item. Fine, put it. And then click on create receipt by which what I was saying. The receive and deliver are getting completed in one go. Fine, click on receipt now. And then click on something by which what I was the receipt. The receive and deliver are getting completed. Now, the, yes, the transfer order will be getting updated now. Right? What is the place? Now, receive and deliver. By which order? The full activity is now getting completed. Right? It has to come. The receive and deliver tick mark. Right? So, click on done. Now. It has to come as two. Now, right? go there. And then again, select the line and then click on the view shipments on receipts. Now, you can see it's not received as well as delivered. Right? Now, the activity of transfer order is complete. Now. The status is now come to closed actually. 
the status is complete now now seo is also completed seo is to ensure that the what happens the material is available on the destination sub unit seo is also completed if you go to the manager order here and go the click on refresh now fine it now says what it is an in logistics fine click on supply click on refresh it has to say that what happens the supply is available now fine click on refresh again <coughs> it is not showing it takes some time actually and go the click on it otherwise what happens i will not give a done i will not give a done it will not come to the main sales order now in the main sales order area if you give it done it will be coming here again you click on the orchestration number you see here it is not showing your goods is available now previously you were showing as what the it is awaiting supply now goods are available on the, the on the the shipping or so i will not click again on the orchestration number supply chain orchestration number here what happens so inventory available so inventory available is now coming it it actually progresses from what in logistics to shipped and then finally to inventory available it has to progress in that way it will be showing normally as a chino point go there and then if you go down and then see on the if you go on the transfer order number and go there so here what about the transfer order uh, is the transfer order number fine not there and go there you click on the second line now if you click on the second line now show you what now created as a chino if you go to the orchestration line if you go to the orchestration plan the first two four activities are completed so yes seo is completed it has now made available the inventory in the destination or from the order where you got shipped this fulfillment completion will be done by the uh, what happens the sales order actually the do will not complete this so here if you go on and see on the sales order number fine go there click on done now fine the activity of uh, seo is now complete fine click on done i am in the main sales order number fine go there so you can go there and then see this page now <coughs> so this is what as all the three tick marks fine are written all these things fine go there it, the status is showing a ship but it is not coming here now fine go there so you go to the receive and deliver on this one we already completed the receive and deliver fine go there the line is delivered so seo will now say the inventory is available fine inventory available so seo will now say this is so orchestration plan will now record put away is complete now fine go there you can now see all the four activities are completed the transfer order now so all the activities are completed the transfer orders and the seos are all fully completed actually only the do is not pending the do activity is not pending fine go there you can see all the fulfillment activities of the transfer order everything is not completed now open another tab region for the sales order fine now open the same sales order number and go there it's not say the sales order is not say goods is available that you see now we will now shift the sales order now. we are going to shift the sales order now and go there now we will now go to the inventory area fine go there is it there click on that we will now again go to the shipments So click on it. This time, what happens? We go there. Go to the shipments. Now, I go there. So we now again go to the shipments. Initially, we made the shipment of a for a transfer order. Now we are going to go for a sales order. I go to the shipments. This time, what happens? We will not go to the managed shipments. Now, we will not go to the managed shipments, but we will now go to the managed shipment lines. Actually, managed shipments is mainly used for transfer orders, and then managed shipment lines is mainly used for what happens? Sales orders. Actually. Right. Click on this now. Managed shipment lines. I will go there. Not as a hard and fast rule. We can even query and then different different maze are there. Right. Go there. I will now populate the order number and then do it. Fine. Go there. Is a nine zero three eight zero. Fine. Go there. So nine zero three eight zero. But this is a better method actually. Fine. This may of doing it for the managed shipment lines for sales orders and the managed shipments for transfer orders. There is a better method actually. Fine. So you can even find different ways of doing it. Actually. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. If you go on and search it, it will not show anything now. <clears throat> fine. There is a mistake on the search criteria. I have to ship it to the customer on ninth of October now. Fine. Tell me what is the mistake of the ship criteria? Anybody? In the advanced search criteria, there is a mistake actually. So because of which, when I search, nothing is coming. Anybody can identify what is the mistake? I have to ship it only on ninth actually, <clears throat> and not on sixth. Today is sixth actually, sixth of October. I have to ship it on ninth. And so, what is the mistake on the search criteria? Anybody can find it out? Because uh, of that, what else? Huh? Sir, which update has today is mentioned? Exactly. Exactly. Who is this? Mohan. Mohan. Mohan of uh, Oracle Bangalore. Fine. He is from Oracle. Yes. So that's why what I'm able to do it now. The scheduled ship date is not today, but it should be something I heard. Fine, I'll now say today in the next seven days. Actually, they should make this blank. This is an idiotic one. Now. Fine, why do you unnecessarily keep such a extra criteria and then default today? Fine, that is not correct at all. If you make it blank and then if they, anybody wants to query, let them choose one of the factions. Fine, go there. So Mohan is hundred percent correct. Fine, go there today and then the next seven days I'm going to make a search for it. Fine, go there. Click on it. Now. So you'll get this. Fine, go there. We got it. Now. as far as a transfer order is concerned the first activity is what create a pick wave the pick wave will not do the confirm of the pick slips also and then afterwards you do the ship confirmation as far as sales orders concerned what happens this is a, a slightly different route now fine go there i have not written it in the bottom actually fine page one you see page now in the bottom i have written so as far as a transfer order is concerned you create a pick wave and then the pick wave will now complete the pick release as well as the pick confirm and then you perform a ship confirm but as far as the sales concerned what happens first of all you create a ship and actually Auto correct shipment, and then afterwards what happens? You go and then do the pick release. It will now complete what both the pick release and pick confirmation, and then perform a ship confirmation. Even though the first step is not mandatory, but what happens? It is preferable to do in this fashion. Fine. The in this fashion, what happens is now it will be done. What you can do is after pick release and pick confirmation also, what happens? We can create the shipment actually. The rule says what you first marry, and then afterwards you produce a child. But if you produce a child first and then go for marriage, your parents will now say can can can, but they will now finally accept it. 
So here also what happens, what you can do is, you can do a quick release first and then afterwards create a shift and then do the shift and provision. Anyway, but this is a better method actually. This is a recommended method, but you can always, what happens, bypass the rules. No? Fine. All the rules are dealer dealer rules, no? Fine. or all loosely coupled rules actually. Fine. You can even bypass these rules and then do it on. But let us now create a standard method. Fine. We will now click on the auto grid shipment. First of all, let us now create a shipment. So click on the auto grid shipment, maybe what happens, you're not creating a shipment. So your shipment number is coming, 25198. Fine, let me note it now. Fine, the shipment number is what? 25198. The previous shipment number is for the transfer order actually. And then this shipment is not the sales order actually. So 25198 is now created and go there. If you click on OK, it will not take you to shipments directly. And click on OK, what happens, it will not take you to shipments. And it will not come to the shipments area. And go there. Now, in this area, what happens, you click on the hyperlink on the shipments. Now, I click on the hyperlink on the shipments. And go there. Now, tell me whether... Uh, now, whether we have to perform the pick uh, release or not, anybody? Whether we had to perform the pick release or not. So, what we did is we created an auto create shipment now. Fine. Right? So, if you go and then create the auto create shipment, what happens uh, here after shipment is created, we have to do the pick release also. We have to perform the pick release. Whereas in this case, when a pick wave is created, the pick release as well as the pick confirm are done together. Now, only a shipment number is created. Remember, a pick release is not done. So, let us know actions pick release. Let us know wait. Go to the actions and then go to the pick release. I click on pick release. So we are going to pick release this product. Now. I click on the pick release. So what happens? It will not say a concurrent is now running for pick release. Now fine, go there. Click on OK. The pick release concurrent will not do the pick confirmation also. Fine, go there. Click on it now. Fine, us. Now coming. So wait for some time now. Fine, go there. So wait for some time. <coughs> and then once when this completed, what happens? We perform a ship confirmation on this product. So there will be for a sales order and there will be for a transfer order actually. <coughs> so it's not done. So let us now wait for some time. The concurrent gets completed now. Fine, go there. If you go to the monitor process, what happens? You go on and see. <coughs> you know, see. Fine, go there. Now, print pick slave report is now ready. Fine. The release of the pick wave is now succeeded. It's not printing it, so it's now completed. Fine, go there. Now, we are now ready to ship confirm. Minus shipments. So, yeah, you perform the ship confirmation. Again, what happens? The inventory in charge will now say, fine. the shipped quantity is not coming. Sometimes it will not come at all. Fine, doesn't matter. That means what? We have to ship the entire quantity only. If it comes, what happens? We have to wait. Now, fine, go there. So, I don't know why this no, number is not coming. The, ship. the field must be irritable, actually. <clears throat> So go there. So I will now, what happens? I will now cancel it and then requery the number. Now find 2519 and go there. Requery now find go there. Click on it. So here, I will now cancel it. 2519 is the one. Go there. So click on cancel now. And then this number, what happens? I will now go to the managed shipment lines. Fine. Managed shipment lines is for a sales order query. Managed shipment is for a, uh, what happens? Your, what's called your shipment query. Fine. This is for a sales order number. The shipment fine. Go to the managed shipments. Let me query on this now. Fine. The shipment equals to what? 25198. Now find 25198. So 25198. Uh, one nine eight no two five one nine eight is the one thing you tap and I click on search now I'm going to search for it now fine go there so this will be coming over here now fine yeah. the shipment status is open now fine go there now it's coming so it is preferable to what happens uh, make the inventory in charge entry now fine on the main screen if it is nothing coming what happens you close it and then put the shipment and then entry now fine this is the best way if he has got if that field is not editable it will not ship the entire quantity Otherwise, what happens? You have the option of entering in. So, whichever way you want, what happens? You have to do via this now. Fine. If you say it's on the screen itself, what happens? You can even give a straight away pick confirm, a ship confirmation, or otherwise, you go to the manage shipments and then query a shipment number, and then afterwards, what happens? You go there and then click on shipment now. And then enter the quantity of what you want shipment, click on shipment now. So, by which, what happens? The DO gets completed now. So, the DO is also completed now. Fine, go there. <coughs> go there. So, here, the DO is also getting completed. Page up. <coughs> Page up. And then see this now. Fine, go there. The DO is now going to awaiting billing now. It will now initially go to avoid ship and then afterwards go to awaiting billing. Let us now quickly go there and then see this now. Fine. Go to the manage and orders now. Manage orders now. Fine. Go there. Click on refresh page now. So it will now momentarily go to ship now. Fine. Go there. It is now awaiting. Uh, what happens? It is now. Oh God. It is now gone to awaiting shipping. So momentarily it will now go to ship and then afterwards what happens? It will go to awaiting billing. Awaiting billing. And go there. Go there. See this now. See this now. Quickly. Awaiting shipping is not coming. Fine. Go there. Any other place. If you go to the orchestration plan. Go to the orchestration plan. <clears throat> The orchestration plan is not showing still awaiting shipping plan. Or the click on refresh now. Fine. Is momentarily somewhere it will not show as shipped actually. Fine. Now you see it's not showing as shipped. Actually. So back to back order is not shipped. And then on the main area, on the fulfillment lines also, it will be showing as a shipped. And then it will not go to awaiting billing. Bandichi, we got it now. Fine. The status is shipped now. Fine. Click on refresh. Now it will be getting interface to what you are. What happens? The AR now. Fine. AR it will not show as awaiting billing now. Fine. Go there. Go there. It is not shipped now. Fine. Go there. It is not still uh, now. It has to go to awaiting billing now. So in the meantime, what happens if you go on the query on this one? You go there, go to the shipment lines, and then here, what happens? You click on the orchestration. You can now see the final activity is also complete. Now. And go to the orchestration plan. And you go to the first line and then come back to the second line. Now. 
so by which order the fulfillment is also done so this fulfillment is done by the doo whereas the first four have been done by sco fine whether everything is now completed now the status is fine if you give it done we will now come back to the main screen now from the sco area i am now coming to the doo area now fine go there now go there and click on refresh now fine it will now progresses to awaiting awaiting billing now it is now awaiting billing awaiting billing the status of my brother so the orchestration plan also will now show you as what awaiting billing now fine go there so it is now done so it is awaiting billing now we have to log in into ars responsibility and then create the invoice and check fine it is now awaiting billing fine it is not completed now fine go there so we now done come out of it and then log out now fine go there you know log out to tracy allen now fine tracy allen is a what's called the ar person now fine click on done and then come out of it now <clears throat> So let me log out and then what happens? Uh, go to the AR man. So here, so she is a girl who is going to what happens? Uh, create what invoice now? Fine, click on confirm and then come out of it now. Fine, click on confirm and come out of it and then go there. It is a Tracy P R A C Y Tracy Allen is the one. Fine, go there. So she is a AR executive. Fine, click on sign up. And then the first activity what she is going to do is you don't go to run and then run the auto in invoice invoice. Now fine, go there. She will now go to the tools and then go to the schedule process. She will now import the auto invoice actually. <clears throat> she will not perform it fine click on it now fine go there <coughs> it's the import auto invoice i think i'm not sure about it fine. the import percentage auto percentage and then give a tab now give a search on this now yes it's the import auto invoice fine go there click on okay now fine. Don't import it. Click on okay so it'll have lots of parameters now fine go there the transaction source is devo no? when the devo has pushed into this place fine go, there. go and then choose the transportation source is what the import invoice from devo right that the devo is a source and go there and then go down and then you will now put the sales order number fine there are plenty of parameters there it is equivalent to the import order invoice import of ebis basically go there the from sales order number will now go there and then put it now fine go there is the 90380 is the one so 90380 is the one give it tab now so by which order the two sales order i will now put 90380 and then give it tab for us go there and then click on submit so by which what happened the order invoice process is not triggered so once when this is triggered what happens you wait for the concurrent to complete now so once it is completed, now go there, and then in this place, the import invoice activity is now completed. Now go there, not running. So now what happens? We can now go and then see the bill which is now created. Now go there, now completed, and go there. Click on the task also, and then here what happens? You go to the receivables and then go to the billing area. And click on the receivables and the billing area, and then here we're going to see the transactions. Right? So there also what happens? We have the transactions, transactions area here. What happens? We go to the manage transactions area. And click on the manage transactions, and in the manage transactions, what happens? We're going to query on what the sales order number. So nine zero three eight zero. 90380 and then give it app and then here what happened the bill to customer so two fields we need to go in find with the computer computer and then give it app computer services and then this is the one and go there i'm not going on two fields there also we had to query on two fields actually find go there and then go into the click on search you'll now find one e billing is now made now find go there is the one find select and then click on what happens you have already find click on the hyperlink on the transaction number it will now show you the invoice which is now created actually so the invoice is not created. So we can even view the image of the invoice. What happened? The technical team would have been customized it to show the proper way. If you click on it, what happens? The technical team will now customize this display page basically based upon whichever way you want. It will now show you the invoice. Go there. You now see this now. It will now show you with all the what's called the company's uh, standard instructions and other things. Fine. The company logo. Other things, whatever is relevant for you, what happens? You can order it. Where exactly send the payments to where? I find that is very important. Thing. So, you have to send the payments. You can put the bank details also. We are not go there. It will show you. So, this completes a simple process of what happens a transfer and ship and then invoicing. So, uh, we will now come back and then again. What happens? I will now go on and show you on the main screen. Now, I go there. So, the training starts on. Uh, uh, what's called twenty second of uh, this thing now? Fine, go there. On twenty second of October at, at uh, nine thirty p.m. to ten thirty ten forty five p.m. India now. Fine. So it will be for one to one, one, one hour and fifteen minutes now. Process duration now. You will be learning everything. Fine. It's only a synopsis of what we have seen now. Fine. Go there. One one such a business process now. Fine. So you please uh, mention your uh, email ID on the narration of your payment actually. And then I have got four banks now basically. So to one of the banks uh, you can make a uh, payment of three thousand rupees. And then uh, you can uh, stop the record and then uh, note on the bank details actually RBL in the HDFC bank. And what else? And then afterwards, I got two more banks also. So to one of the banks, what happens? You can set it up now, and go there, and then send the payment actually. And then please mention the email ID on the narration so that I can understand who has made the payment now. Fine. Please forward this video to your friends so that what happens? I'll be getting your uh, basically your teacher is uh, basically paid actually. Fine. Uh, if uh, you are giving a there is a real guru dakshana you are paying for the teacher actually. Fine. Please refer it to others also. Fine. <clears throat> so this what happens? I have completed. So any questions from your side? <clears throat> 
the agenda is not admit i'll be making and then unfortunately what happens i cannot give you an instance to practice i will not give you one instance but that instance is not exactly clearly working actually i will be practicing on a customer's instance actually and that i cannot give it to you <clears throat> so you can even open up your mic and then speak now if you have any questions <clears throat> you can open up mic and then you can open up your video also so that other person is not speaking actually yes Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Hi, Nana. This is Madhu. Yeah. yeah tell me. Yeah. Actually, uh, earlier you have given that will not work for this OEM. I have given one instance. Now, fine. It will. It has to work now. But I am not sure about whether it will work or not fully. I am not very sure. Yeah. If it doesn't work, what happens? You have to go to Hyderabad and hire instance. I am not very sure. That instance I will now definitely give you. Uh, that instance is now giving. Many people have made a lot of R and D on this, and then what happens? Certain functionalities are not working. On it. The technical team has modified so many things on this one, so I'm not very sure about whether that will work or not. If it doesn't work, what happens? They have to go to Hyderabad and take it. So, yeah. Nana, is it the latest latest version? Yeah, yeah, it is at least 13 D B. So, every quarter they are going to make a release. Yes. So, it is working on release 13 B, both the versions. My my customer instance as well as the version for all the latest version. So the functionality will be same, right? Even the new version comes also. The functionality will always change. No, when certain things will be changing on every new version. Right? You only identified one new functionality, na? So likewise, what happens in every new version? There will be some changes in the functionality. We have to go through the release content documentation and then try to find out what has got. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I? Do you have any contact? Suppose uh, our system is not working. We have to buy any Hyderabad. Do you have any idea? Uh, I have one uh, contact people. Fine, I will now send you along with this mail. Maybe. I have one contact people. Let me see. I am having one second. I know. What happens? The share screen. No. I have one contact person. Instance for practice. I think. Instance for sale. Okay, man. Go on. So I have one uh, contact person over here. I find those level one. So these guys are basically MRU Technologies, basically. So MRU Technologies is now selling the instance. Actually, thirteen B, eighteen B is now they are they are selling it. Okay. So the cost for a three months period is six K. I know. And for six months it is ten K actually. <clears throat> so direct purchase only. No, no demos available. Fine. Go there. What else? And then what about if the passwords are getting refreshed? What about they will be giving you new passwords basically. So we can even note down this number now basically. Fine. Note down this number. So this is a number on which what about this is a Gmail ID. Then this is a number from that you can talk to them and then what about you can get the instance ID. First try in the instance of mine and then if it is still not working or something like what about then you go to MRT. Yeah, sure, Nana. Thank you. Good. <clears throat> So they give it in higher actually. Eighteen A, eighteen B, eighteen C, and eighteen D. Fine. It is now uh, now present version is eighteen B only. Fine. Because there is no giving. Eighteen C will be coming in November only, and then there is no eighteen D. Eighteen D has been uh, what happens? Uh, they have decided not to go for it now for this year. Then afterwards, nineteen A, nineteen two thousand nineteen A will come. So because B itself came only in the month of uh, around uh, uh, very late actually, only in the June it came actually. So it has to come in April. It has come on in June now. So uh, they are planning for C in the November actually, and then afterwards there is no other releases which are going to come in uh, 2018 actually. So only 19 year will come afterwards. So this is the one where what happens? You can even hire the instance if my instance provider instance is not working actually, because I will be practicing on a customer's instance and then I cannot give that instance to you. Any other doubts? <clears throat> So good then, and then what happens? I will now make the agenda by around twentieth, and I will send it to you. What exactly we are going to cover on this month? Until now, the agenda is not made. I am not going out. And so what happens? I will be roaming around. So <clears throat> you can. I will anyhow be available on the mobile as well because of the internet connectivity. So once when the connect, payment is made, what happens? I will now give a confirmation back to you also. <clears throat> so bye for now, and then we will now try to meet on twenty second of this month actually. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thank you, Nana.